Hello and welcome to this Designing Music Now review of Sound Iron's Symphony Series Woodwind Ensemble and Woodwind Solo. This is an amazing sounding library and without further ado let's take a listen to it with the ensemble, the solo which is playing essentially a quintet here, and then also the uh, brass ensemble so you can hear all of these together on this first articulation, the sustains. Now let's try with some expressions. Wow, wow, wow. That last sequence in honor of Star Trek coming out this weekend. So um, let me just play some of these a little bit uh, for you individually uh, so you can hear that real quick and then we'll go into more in depth. So here's the Woodwind Ensemble. Really nice highs, really nice lows. So now let's check out the quintet. And by quintet, I mean it has contrabassoon, bassoon, clarinet, oboe, and flute. Let's check that out. Sweet. Now let's try them played together. Very, very, very nice. Now let's check out the wind ensemble in depth. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is the woodwind ensemble from the symphony series by Sound Iron. And here is the patch here. This is basically all of the instruments in the ensemble. All of these, uh, bass, bassoons, clarinets, flutes, oboes, and saxophones, all align on the keyboard so you can play it as one instrument. So if I just play sustains and you can hear all the way from the lowest keys, Within each of these, the bass, for example, there are seven different instruments. So this is all of the articulations in one, and then it's subdivided further into arpeggios, effects, expressions, legato, staccato, and sustain. And then that's true for each one of these instruments. So the flutes have the same seven different uh, articulations in, as subdivisions. So this is the main instrument here, and then each one of these has a main instrument, but they also are broken down into smaller ones. So we'll check each one of those out. First of all, though, let's check out the interface here. So here on the interface, the main thing that you see is this big expression dial, and that's controlled by the mod wheel. So that 
that's really, really well done, really nice. Now, the other thing you see on the big panel here is the attack and release, and then the release is how much is the fade out. Uh, so this is the fade in and the fade out on the attack and the release. The tightness is where the sample starts. So it actually, you can start midway through the sample if you want. And motion, when you have that up, it actually allows you to change both the intensity and the pitch. So it gives you more variety as you play. So if I do that, so the first thing I want to notice or point out is how beautiful the interface is and how easy it is to use. And let's take a listen. Very, very nice. Now let's try a little song here. Pretty, pretty nice. Let's try this. Pretty cool. Let's try the flutes. Clarinets. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now let's check out some of the other articulations here real quick. So here's staccato. Very, very nice. Try it in the lower registers. So what you'll notice is the round robin is just moving around like crazy, which is nice. Um, now let's uh, check out another articulation here, the crescendos. I really, really like these, where you play and hold and you can see the progress. Let's check out the repetitions here. Notice they're repeating here at the beginning at the, of the phrase. Pretty sweet. Now let's move on to another one here, the Sforzando Fast. The, the repetitions are on again, so you'll hear those. So I've got the speed up really fast. Let's go back to eighth notes and try it. That's nice. Cool. Let's try Sforzando's without the repetition. There you go. Now, if you want to try to add some more articulations, you can do that just by selecting them here from the articulation selector. So I'll go edit. Let's say we want to try the um, decrescendo. Put it right there. Very cool. Keep the decrescendo there, and then I move over to this slot, and I can select another one, the fast swells. So that's another really great feature. So what we've been looking at so far is the performance page. There's also the ensemble page, where you can select not only the balance of each of the um, things in terms of their level, but also where you place them on the keyboard. And there's also a mixer. The mixer is where you set the different mics and the mic positions. And you can also set reverb, compressor, and put a filter on it, uh, and so on. So reverb sounds a bit like this.
So the really huge cathedral, there's other IR responses in there too. So try that one. I like it. And you can just put the high pass filters right on there as well. So let's see. So the next thing I want to do is move on to here are the bass winds. Nice. Let's check out the growls. Really cool. Legato was on there. So if I turn Legato off, I can play chords. Beautiful. So those are the bass woodwinds. And now let's, uh, so let's move on to the next patch here. This is the bassoons. Let's try the arpeggios. It's a little fast. If I turn the uh, source down to maybe uh, maybe 80 BPM and then try that. Pretty nice. And then you can also set different modes here, up and down, up only, down only. Uh, you can set the count, you can set the speed. Let's try some uh, triplets here, eighth note triplets. I love it. So now let's move on to another articulation here, the sustain mezzo forte vibratos and turn the arpeggios off. So I don't think you can control the vibrato amount. Legato. So here we have solo and duet. Solo is basically one note plays at a time. But duet actually is a really cool feature. So when sequential notes are played less than six semitones apart, they will actually be joined together by legato transitions. If notes are played sequentially with six or more semitones between them, they will be played as two completely independent parallel legato melodies. So let's now move on to the next instrument. And here we have the clarinets. Cool. Another articulation here, the mezzo forte vibrato. Cool. Let's see if there are any other articulations available here. There are. So let's try flutter tongue. Wow. Single tongue run. Ooh. Okay, I've never heard that in a library before. Very, very nice. Um, here's a sustained whole tone, whole tone trill. Beautiful. Now let's check out the flutes. Very dainty, very nice. Um, let's see what other articulation they have here. This is the vibrato. Very nice, compare that to the non-vibrato. Beautiful, let's check out some of the other available articulations here. Let's try the double tongue run. Single tongue. Ooh, 
These guys think of everything. It's really, really, really nice. Here's the piano to forte. With vibrato. By the way, a bunch of other ones here. Holy cow, here's a staccato flutter. Staccato sforzando. That's a, got really nice applications in video games. <laughs> Very nice in expressions. Crescendo. This nice progress bar here. Sforzando slow. Wait for it. Boom. Sforzando fast. Okay, there's not much you can't do here. I think it's uh, got a lot of things really well covered. So now let's check out the oboes. Gotta love it. Check out the mezzo for sustained vibratos. Cool. Check out a few of the other articulations here. Let's check out these single tongue runs. Very nice. Some staccatos. Mm -hmm. Love it. Expressions. Let's try the fast sforzando. Pretty awesome. And then, of course, you can add repetitions to that. All right, now let's move on to the next instrument. Here are the saxophones. A lot of libraries don't include these, but uh, here in Sound Iron's Woodwind Ensemble Symphony Series, they do. Cool. Here's some sustained vibratos. All right, well, that is the overview of the, of the various ensemble pieces. Those are the main instruments. Now, if we were to want to look a little bit deeper and go into bass winds arpeggio. And so here's how it sounds. Major up, minor up. You can do natural sync and vera speed. That's nice that you can have that level of control. Uh, here are some effects in the woodwinds. This is basically the cluster dis. Some aleatoric things. It's really great that they included all this. Totally awesome. Contra Bassoon's Staccato Cluster. Very cool. Force Dissonant. Very cool. And you have that on each of them. So those were just the bass, but of course you can uh, have them on the flutes and everything else. So let's check out a few other things. For example, bassoon arpeggios. Mm 
Love it. Now, one more thing, the bassoon effects. A cluster crescendo. Cool. Those must have been a lot of fun to uh, record. All right. So that's the quick overview of just the Woodwind Ensemble Symphony Series. Thank you for listening to the Designing Music Now podcast, a podcast dedicated to the craft of creating music for video games and interactive media. Please visit us at designingmusicnow.com for more info, news, and reviews on this subject. We would love to hear from you.